would be brilliant. Hello, welcome. Flying high today. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all our Irish viewers. And since I was in Belfast at the weekend, I know exactly what fun they'll be having today. Have a good one, chaps. It's also Gold Cup Day at Cheltenham. Half of Ireland's over there as well at the moment, trying their luck. So indeed, are two new contestants who are here in the studio, raring to play New Sign, trying their luck over three rounds. And in the New Sign Archive studio, we're on the road with Carol Barnes. She's just joined the Ladies Motoring Club, taking us all for a spin. The winner of the rounds goes on to play Paper Chase, and then it's your turn to play. Give us a call for your chance to win a splendid holiday in Tunisia. But that's enough of that. Let's go meet today's contestants. It's the chaps today, and they are Brian Murphy, a foreman from Hull in North Humberside, facing the challenge of Lindsay Donald, a freelance photographer from Tottenham in North London. Morning, chaps. Brian, Morning. been in the news. Yes, uh, I was in the local press um, when they did an advertisement feature uh, for the place where I work in Hull. All right. And there he is. Yeah, second. I like a member of the special branch or something. Yeah, don't you know that? Uh, <laughs> I'm the ugly one, yeah. I'm the back yeah. there. <laughs> is that a third eyebrow I come down for a drink? No, it's a <laughs> okay, the head. Lindsay, been yes, in the boys. news. Yes, Ross. Um, 1963, when I was in the Boy Scouts. Yeah. Uh, I was on the front page of the Har Observer. Yes. With, uh, with the lovely actress, Miss Barbara Shelley. Yeah. Uh, that's me there without the glasses, and I'm not the female. <laughs> <laughs> we just spotted you no more there. You're oh, like yeah. a different stroke, sir. Oh! I'm telling you. Right. And Bob Marley as well. What's this, I believe you photographed the great man? Yeah, I worked with Bob for about three years, Ross. Mm -hmm. uh, I toured America with him, and I was on his last show in the United States. And I hope next to you, I will look at my book. That You're going to have a book coming out, Bob Marley? Yeah, probably. Well, I'm a fan yeah. of the man, so okay, nice. good luck with that. Thanks. Right then, let's go on with the first round, which is, of course, Seven Days. This round involves questions taken from the news over the past seven days. Four questions to each contestant, as always. Two points for a correct answer. If they get it wrong, over it goes to the opposition for a bonus point. Good luck to both of you then, lads. We shall move on with the first question for Brian. History was made last Saturday when which event took place at Bristol Cathedral? The ordination of um, women priests. Absolutely. Got all the words that were on the cards there as well. Well done. Lindsay, <laughs> which international airport was the subject of a major security alert last weekend? Heathrow. Heathrow. Gets you too. Brian, a look at this headline. Having a dame good time at 50, which opera singer celebrated her 50th birthday by giving a concert at the Royal Albert Hall last Thursday? If I can say it right. <laughs> yes. Kerry <laughs> Takanawa. Yes. And you said it correctly <laughs> as well. No extra points, but well done. Got yourself too. Lindsay, headline for you. Queen's princely gift. It was revealed last week that the Queen is preparing to make a gift of an apartment in Kensington Palace to which of her children? Uh, Prince, the youngest one, the youngest boy, Prince Edward. Prince Edward, yes, you got there in the end. We're waiting for you. I'll it was worth you. it. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, last week police, a helicopter and an expert from London Zoo with a tranquilizer gun were called to investigate alleged sightings of a lioness, which turned out to be what? A big cat. Yeah, ginger tomcat. Lindsay. For two, BMW announced last week they will save which car from extinction with an exciting new design for the future? Uh, BM, I think it's Rover. No, it's not. Brian? Reliant Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get more exciting than it is now. The Mini. Uh, Brian, last question. It was revealed last week that Leicester City Council is to spend £10,500 of taxpayers' money to encourage what? I haven't got a clue. No, pick it up, Lindsay. Uh, redecorate their house. <laughs> oh, something dear to your heart, local pop groups. Oh. Your question then, Lindsay, final one. American singer Patti LuPone gave her last performance in which musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber last Saturday night? Edita. No, it wasn't. Brian, bonus chance. Starlight Express. No, Sunset Boulevard. Still, pretty close stuff at the moment. Brian is in the lead, six to four, and it sure is. Ari follows Cash and, and no, I mean. <laughs> round two follows round one. And in this particular year, and long before the William Waldegrave affair, the ideas that politicians may occasionally lie came to the fore in the United States. Irangate was in effect a precursor to the Scott inquiry in England. Officials reported that President Reagan did not dis deliberately mislead the American people. He was just unaware of the important aspects of the Irangate operation. Does this sound familiar? Also in this year, the Church of England's General Synod voted to give the go-ahead for the ordination of women. Only take them seven years to carry it out. Well done. And at the time, John Gummer vowed to leave the church if the plan went ahead. Obviously a man who doesn't lie because he left a couple of weeks ago. The year I'm talking about, 1987. What were you doing? Uh, that was the year I got married, Ross. Yes. I was still working where I am now. Oh. And as someone showed you earlier on, nice cake. Yeah. And it wasn't me. <laughs> no. And it wasn't me. Very nice. Lindsay. 
I was working on the Broadwater Farm Estate. I was teaching photography, Ross, to the residents there. And uh, one of my photographs taken by one of my very good pupils. I was one of your very good pupils. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see one of the bad ones, just with a whole head <laughs> taken off. Actually, in the Broadwater Farm Estate, I mean, things have changed a lot there now, haven't they? Yeah, but they're doing all right, Ross. They're good. rejuvenating the inner cities, and it's very good. It's getting better. Yeah. Good. All right, then, Brian and Lindsay, it's a buzzer round. Two points for a correct answer. If you're wrong, I'll hand it over for a bonus point. Got to accept your first answer as well here, lads. So, listen to this piece of music. I gotta have faith. Brian. George Michael. George Michael, yep, who got to number two in the charts with Faith in 87. Have a look at this picture. Lindsay. Carl Lewis. Not the answer I was looking for. In August 1987, which Canadian sprinter beat Carl Lewis to set a new 100 metres record of 9.83 seconds at their own World Championships? Uh, ben Johnson. Was indeed. In January 87, which Russian word meaning openness was adopted by Lindsay? Uh, that was uh, Perestroika. No, it was not. Give the full question here to Brian. In January 1987, which Russian word meaning openness was adopted by the world's media to describe Gorbachev's new push for democracy? I can't remember now. No, can't remember it was it. the other one. Glasnost. That's right. Uh, <laughs> came close. On October the 19th, 1987, 50 billion pounds were wiped off the value of publicly quoted companies in London when the bottom fell out of the stock market. On what day of the week did it happen, Lindsay? Wednesday. No, it wasn't. You pick up a bonus point? Monday. Monday, yeah. Black Monday, it was called. Listen to this song. Brian. Michael Jackson. Not the answer I was looking for. After much hype, Michael Jackson <laughs> only got to number three in the charts with that song. What was it called? It was called I'm Bad. Yeah. They've got to sing it for us there, Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, he's there. He's rocking. Well done. Got yourself one bonus point. Look at this picture. In January 1987, Prince Edward, Lindsay. He resigned from the Marines. He did indeed, exactly what we're looking for. In April 87, Mrs. Whitehouse launched a furious attack against which TV soap opera, claiming it put the nation in moral peril? Brian. Brooks had. No, it wasn't. Can you pick up a bonus point? Uh, was it EastEnders? It was EastEnders. You're clawing your way back into it. Well done. One of the hit films of 87 starred Paul Hogan as a crocodile fighting Australian. Brian. I was going to say Crocodile Dundee. Were you going to say that? Well, you're correct. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the movie. 12 is beating 8. Brian's in the lead. That's the end of that round. Into the final round we go. New Sound Archives. Right. Time to put on your motor and cap and the old goggles. We're going for a spin with Carol Barnes. She's in the New Sound Archives studio reporting on the new Ladies Motoring Club. Thanks, Ross. Britain's first motoring club for women held its inaugural parade of cars today, watched by King Edward and Queen Alexandra from a balcony at Buckingham Palace. The Ladies Automobile Club of Great Britain, whose president is the Duchess of Sutherland, has already attracted 300 members, despite the fact that its annual subscription of five guineas is said to make it the most expensive club for women in London. Claridge's Hotel in the West End is the club's headquarters. Men can take part in its social functions, which the committee hopes will persuade the country's all-male automobile club to admit women. A founder of the club, Miss Annesley Keneally, said, this shows that the women motorist is in real earnest in the matter of horseless locomotion. Next week, several club members plan to drive to Homburg in Germany to see the 1904 Gordon Bennett Road Race, to which Kaiser Wilhelm is expected to attend. This is Carol Barnes for the News Hound Archive. Thanks, Carol. Seven questions on that report. Whoever wins here will go on to play Paper Chase, as always. Two points for a correct answer here, but we take two points away if I get a wrong answer. No bonus opportunities. Fingers on the buzzers. Good luck, Brian. Good luck, Lindsay. Just four points separating you at the moment. The inaugural parade of Britain's first motoring club for women was watched by King Edward and which queen? Brian. Alexander. Correct. You're going further than the lead. The king and queen watched the parade from a balcony at which palace? Brian. Buckingham Palace. Correct. How many members had the Ladies Automobile Club? Lindsay? 200. 300. Two away. The club had attracted 300 members despite the fact that its annual subscription was how much, Brian? Five guineas. Correct. Which hotel was used at the club's? Claridge's. Correct, Lindsay. You're back in the game. Who founded the club? <laughs> yes, Brian? <laughs> Gordon Bennett. <laughs> Gordon Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> no, Miss Annesley Neely. Two away. <laughs> Where in Germany were several club members planning to? Hamburg. Lindsay? 
Homburg is correct. It was a brave attempt at the end, but sadly you haven't done enough there, Lindsay. Gordon Bennett, Brian's won. Yeah. 16 to 10. Lindsay, congratulations, though. You've been a smashing contestant. You get the Chronicle of the Year, 1993. Good luck with your book as well on Bob Marley. We look forward to that. Chronicle of the 20th Century to you, Brian. Great. More to the point. Now it gets a chance to play Paper Chase. I have the questions, hot off the press, written only moments before we came on air. You've got 60 seconds. Jeez, you're a big lad, aren't you? <laughs> Gordon Bennett. 60 seconds to answer as many questions as correctly as you can. Overall winner at the end of the week wins 100 quid. In the lead at the moment, Martin Pheasant with a score of 14. That's who you've got to beat. 60 seconds. Best of luck to you, Brian, and your time starts now. Which minister urged Tory MPs Double to... Said. Correct. And Davis won the right to do what to naughty children? Spank him. Yes. What make is Princess Diana's new car? Audi. Correct. How many rounds did it take for Frank Brunner to... Correct. Which former Chancellor has got a television advert that sent him My up... Mom. Correct. It was claimed yesterday that the number of junior what that are working dangerously long hours... Doctors. Correct. Which children's television programme did Jack Hargreaves, who's just died at the age How? of eight... Correct. How many goals did Manchester United score against... Five. Correct. Chancellor Kenneth Clark was under renewed pressure last night to cut what... Interest to... rate. Correct. Prime Minister Jim Bolger has suggested that which country may follow New Australia. Zealand. Correct. Bernard Cribbins unveiled the new politically correct Alderney yesterday. Who or what is Wombo. Alderney? Correct. Which former manager of England is to take over at Wolves? Uh, Graham Taylor. Correct. The Commons Social Security Commission demanded tighter controls on what type of funds yesterday? Pensions. Which American state is offering free holidays? Florida. Correct. A barrister was reprimanded for wearing what in court yesterday? Jeans. Correct. Which British motor racing champion has been seen relaxing in a pool with dolphins? Mantle. Correct. Which Marquis has lost a fight to prevent Blanford. a court case? Correct. A new report claims that day drinkers are more extreme wine. You're out of time. Beer was the answer. You have scored 16. <laughs> that is sensational. Lindsay gives you a well-deserved round of applause. Unbelievable score. Night right now. It's time for you. Chance to win on Quiz Call. And on today's quiz call, we're giving you the chance to be swept off to exotic Tunisia and visit the Casbah. You and a partner will fly from London and spend a week at the stylish Copts Hotel. Whether you choose to while away your time exploring the streets filled with interest and culture or just relaxing one of the exotic beaches, all you have to do to win that fabulous holiday is answer this. On which continent would you find Tunisia? Is it A, Australia, B, Africa, or South America? Which continent would you find Tunisia? Australia, Africa, South Africa? Call with the answer 0891 33993. 0891 33993. Correct. Selected by the computer. That fabulous holiday in Tunisia is your. Lines up to midnight Saturday. I'll announce the winner Monday. See you later. Goodbye.